Hey everyone, it's Elaine. Thanks for coming back, checking out what I'm up to today. I greatly appreciate it. I have set myself a goal, which I've said a million times, I know. But this year is to use what I have. And I've done pretty well at it. But what I've discovered in going through all of my items that have been tucked in drawers and gotten buried under everything is that one I've had some some supplies excuse me that have kind of dried up I have some paint that is getting gloppy as a matter of fact a little while back I had gone to a retreat with a lot of uh, semi-famous people let's just say and one of them went to squirt out one of the paints from one of my tubes and it kind of went bloop. Well, it was a little embarrassing. And of course, they kind of made a big deal out of it and tried to have a little laugh at my expense. But that's okay. Because I think that happens to everyone where things get a little old, you have forgotten about them, whatever. But I said, you know, that paint still has value. I can do something with it. So, us that do journals and mixed media, we like color and we like experimenting. And I know a lot of journal makers either stain paper with tea or with coffee to give it that aged look. Those of us that have done our journals are more into the color. We still like the aged, don't get me wrong. But we also like a splash of color in there at least. So I thought, what could I do to make some pages a little different? And my answer was, use what you have, Elaine. Figure it out. So I said, I have all of this old paint. Let me figure something out with it. So here's what I did. I made with two tea bags, regular tea bags, a simple cup of tea but like I said using two tea bags and I had done it in um, like a styrofoam cup I had squirted in some old brown paint and now this is not the color I mistakenly threw the bottle away that I used but I squirted paint into that cup and then I have these I'm not sure exactly what they were um, there, it says an accent ink and they come with a little brush they're called smooch and they come with a little brush I'm hoping you can see that there we go and I said well that will add some color now I have to tell you I don't think I have really ever used these if so not much and I don't remember where so this was one of the items I said beautiful colors beautiful they give shimmer beautiful but again they're just not, I don't know, what I've been playing with lately, but not anymore. So here's what I did. Like I said, I poured some paint and some smooch into a cup, and then I added my tea, my boiling hot tea. And what it did was the paint that was so clumpy, and I'm telling you, it came out like bloop, <laughs> and it melted it instantly. It made it look, I'll have to say, a little muddy, and I think it's because I used a brown. But then this added shimmer to it. So I laid it all out on the table. This is dripping here now. I laid it all out on my patio table, as you have seen me do my tea stained paper before. And then after that, I took the smooch and I just kind of dripped it on the paper now this had a stopper in it so it was kind of hard to get the water in it so i pulled out the stopper and there is something in there that feels kind of like spongy i guess it's to keep it from just pouring out some kind of little stopper thing and i'm not sure if you can see now but i have put more water in it and more water in it and i'm going to get all the goodie out of this now, I did get all the goodie out of the first bottle of brown paint, but I just want to kind of flip through here a little bit and let you see. Now, on these, I did turn them over in some cases and drip the pink 
on both sides. In some cases, I didn't. Now, the one bad thing about this that I found, look, at that's pretty cool, is that places that laid too long together, because I had stacked them up, stuck. They stuck together. So I don't know if it's the paint sticking to the paint or the smooch. I'm not sure. But look at that. I think it is such a cool effect. That's the other side. And I don't know. I will do this again with some other different colors. But I like it. I like it a lot. And I used a variety of papers. That must have got in there from my just tea staining. But I just kept adding water to the smooch. And like I said, kept dripping it. So that was the brown and the kind of fuchsia colored smooch. Now I did another color and I did it two different ways. And let me show this to you. In this case, I used a metallic silver and I used this brilliant blue smooch. And the first time I did it, I did not add any tea. I just added the blue smooch and like I said the metallic. Now I didn't do a whole lot of dripping from the smooch on this. This was more about the paint and you can see the shimmer. It is very cool. So I think these little cards that I got from Jan at the retreat will be fun to stick in pockets. Now you can see a little bit of the blue that did come out from when I dripped it in the cup. But for the most part, this paper just has shimmer to it. And I'm hoping you, you're able to see it. Like I said, I did it on all kinds of different paper. Yeah, you can see. So I didn't do a whole lot of it, just plain. But that was probably a little less than a cup right there. And now here, I did like I did before. I added um, tea, boiling tea, to the silver and the blue. Alrighty. And then I went back and I dripped the blue. Look at this one. Can you see the shimmer from both the smooch and the paint? So I'm showing this to you because I know we're always looking for things to use to dye our papers. And I'm sure that everybody out there has some all kinds of craft paints and stuff that are just sitting around. And, you know, I know this isn't as cool as using avocados or beets or whatever, but it is using what we have and just not throwing it away. So anyhow, please, if you haven't, subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. I, you know, do try to come up with some different kinds of ideas and using what I have. I need to do it. It needs to go, but I'm just not going to toss it away. I'm one of those people that I just feel like if I, if I go to throw it away or give it away, oh, I'm going to need it tomorrow. So... <laughs> I guess I'm a little bit bad that way. Maybe that's my hoarding tendencies. 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 Oh, I can't even say the word. Anyway, I appreciate it very much. And come on back and check me out. See you all later. Behave.